Hello folks, uh, today we're going to learn to manage our application settings seamlessly in environment variables and using .env files. In any application's life, separating configuration from code is crucial. It's like keeping your workspace tidy, everything in its place. Directly embedding environment-specific variables like API keys or database credentials in the code can lead to a tangled web of issues, from code-based pollution to conflicts during merging Git branches. That's where .env files come into play, offering a clean and efficient way to manage your environment variables. Let's begin with this simple gin-based app. This app displays a bunch of blogs in a paginated view. In this app, we have this database connection string that is used to connect to the database. This string would change based on the environment we are in. For example, staging dev and production will have different databases with different connection parameters. One simple way to handle this is to move this string out to an environment variable. Let's say this variable is called DB connection string. We can read the environment variable with the os.getNV method. While running the app, we specify the environment variable like this. Let's see if this works. The server runs and the application works as well. Currently, we have only one environment variable, so it is easy to run an application like this. As the application grows, there would be dozens of variables required. Specifying the variables in the command would be messy. .env files come to the rescue. Let's start by creating a .env file at the root of our project. Here, we define our variable like db connection string. It's straightforward. Each line holds a key value pair, telling our app how to behave in different environments. Go doesn't natively understand NV files, but no worries. With the go.env package, it's a breeze. Let's install this package. Now let's see if it understands the .env file. We have missed something. We need to use the load method for this to read the .env file. Let's start the server and see if our app works. The app works without any issue. To maintain different environments, we need different env files like .env.staging, .env.production, A word to the wise, the .env holds your local configuration. We should add this to git ignore so that it should not affect other developers. And that's a wrap on .env files in Go. Embrace this method and you'll navigate through different environments like a pro, keeping your configuration secure and your code clean. Until next time, keep coding and stay fantastic.